Do you have any children? Yes, ma'am, I do. How many? I have six. What are their ages? My oldest is 19. My youngest is 10. No, I need the ages. So 19. They're, they're not in my care, though. All right. None of them are? No. Were your rights terminated? My baby dad has them. With who? The father. Okay. Yes, ma'am. All right. When were you born? In the 80s? I was born in 1988. I knew. And you want to know how I knew you were born in the 80s? How's that? <laughs> because your first name is Fallon. Fallon, if you know, is from Dynasty. That plane around and get your ass back here now. It's Fallon. Let me be the first to toast Fallon Carrington on her big achievement. <laughs> and so there you go. <laughs> Congratulations. In 2015, CR 12466, State of Texas versus Fallon Medina. All right. And I had already informed uh, your client that by pleading true to violation of condition number five, the court can find it true and grant the motion and sentence her up to 20 years in prison. Knowing that, do you still wish to plead true to violation of condition number five? Yes, ma'am. Court will find violation of condition number five true. Is there a proposed agreement? Uh, yes, Judge. The proposal is uh, SATIF and MRT with a Mickey valuation. We were informed by probation. That's why we kind of stepped away that they review the cases on a case by case basis. So she may be rejected from SATIF. So I want to make sure the court was aware. All right. So why should I follow this agreement? She was given deferred adjudication by another judge for what it appears to be setting up uh, some male to be beat up, robbed. So why she hasn't done, what has she done on probation? Why should I accept this agreement? Has she done anything? She has, Your Honor. Um, she's paid quite a bit of the fine. She did have, have some successful amount of time where she reported um, and her tests weren't bad. Her, her drug and alcohol tests were not bad. Um, it's only recently, well, I would say in the last couple of years, once her father died, that she has sort of, things took a turn. And um, she's probably, I think, still dealing with that trauma. Um, she was uh, telling me that she did finish school um, and she plans on and would like to, if given the opportunity, um, be able to have a future in cosmetology, Your Honor. So we are asking that this court uh, get her some drug and alcohol treatment through safe um, SATA. Probation? What has she done on probation? Subscribe! All right, probation, are you aware of this recommendation? Yes. Are you in agreement with this recommendation? Verifying with the manager, and due to her offense, they're going to have to screen her case, and it may she may or may not be accepted to that. All right. Will she be accepted to safety? Yes. All right. All right. Can you raise your right hand for me? Do you solemnly swear or affirm the testimony you give will be the truth and nothing but the truth? Yes, so help you God. You can lower your hand. State your name for the record. Alan Nicole Medina. All right, so why did you fall off the radar? I was having some personal issues with my family and my father passed away two years ago. All right, why didn't you contact probation and tell them what your issues were? I did tell them that I was having some issues, but I wasn't specific on what was going on. All right, do you have any children? Yes, ma'am, I do. How many? I have six. What are their ages? My oldest is 19. My youngest is 10. No, I need the ages. So 19. They're, they're not in my care, though. All right. None of them are? No. Were your rights terminated? No. I have joint custody, but my baby dad has them. With who? The father. Okay. All right. Court will deny the motion. Often demand conditions to include, um, she'll be evaluated for SATIF. If SATIF doesn't accept her, she's going to safety. Okay, yeah. And she's gonna be evaluated for that as well because I think she's only had one positive UA. Okay. And I'm gonna want the MRT. 
make evaluation. And if she is not eligible, eligible for SADF or SAFP, I want to brought back to court before she's released from custody and we'll figure out something else. Yes. I'm going to want no unsupervised contact with minors. All right. Is there anything else from either side? No, no. All right. Ms. Medina, is there anything else you need from the court? Uh, no, ma'am. All right. And this, we're off the record. In this court, communication is key. If there's something going on in your life, you need to ask probation. Talk to them. You understand? Yes, ma'am. From here on out, you're looking at potentially 20 years if you don't do well on this probation. You understand? Yes, ma'am. All right. When were you born? In the 80s? I was born in 1988. I knew. And you want to know how I knew you were born in the 80s? How's that? <laughs> because your first name is Fallon. Fallon, if you know, is from Dynasty. And so there you go. Eric. Fallon, put that away. Listen to him, Fallon. Just sit down and let's talk about this. Why? <laughs> All right. Do better, okay? Yes, ma'am. All right. Do we have the test results on <laughs> Borja? I owe you an apology. I put together two cartons of eggs this morning and I was in a rush to get out of the house and they're sitting on my couch. I knew I was going to be here. But well, you know what's so funny about eggs? I didn't realize because I have a lot of friends who raise chickens. They produce a lot of eggs. Oh, you don't know. We support, we give tons of eggs to the senior citizens yes. center and they sell them and earn money. I will um, tell you, there is nothing like fresh eggs. That's well, oh, I was also going to ask, when are you going back to Louisiana to your mom's? I'm not sure. Maybe Thanksgiving. I don't know. Let's get the facts straight. She loves a verbal ashtray. Never blowing smoke when she gets pissed. She's quick to castrate. Love her on a good day. Love her on a bad day. Either way, she's here to stay, stay, stay. Call her.